Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Everspace. Once again, here at the hangar with zero credits. And that means uh, no ability to spend any perks here. See, my stats are not looking too great. You know, I've never gone for any of these uh, challenges. Only a few here. Destroy 10 Okai units in a single run. Earn 5,000 credits or more in a single run. And I've done that more than once. And destroy 10 outlaw units in a single run. Okay, well, we need to, need to have a look at these, although the bonuses for them are not that large. Anyway, what we're going to do is head out once again. And we'll see how far we get on this occasion. Once more into the space, and this is one of my favourite locations. Black areas. Right, so which one is the mission? That's just what I need. Right, these guys are starred. And uh, so is this one as well. Well, let's go for that then. Very, very quick to destroy them. And not too much of a problem. Now, this of course is very early on. It's it's the first uh, stage, the first zone in Sector 1, so fully expect this to be very, very simple to deal with. One more target. Two more targets. Oh no, they're further away, so I've dealt with the ones in the immediate vicinity. Let's see if we can pick up any of these items here. Now, I don't need fuel, of course, because fuel is to be used after jump in, but I will have whatever's in this crater here. And we all know that nanobots are always very useful. Unfortunately, nothing of much value being found here, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so we're going to head on over to these outlaw scouts and deal with them next. Still yet to complete a full run through of this game. I know a few of you have managed to achieve that. If you've got any tips and suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. I'd certainly like to hear about that. But I'm not doing too bad, considering how I started out on this. I managed to improve a fair amount, but still not to the extent where I can get myself to the end of the game. Come on! And here I am saying about how I've improved and... You have received a credit reward. The payment has been transferred. Thank you. And I'm failing to deal with the uh, ships here in the first zone efficiently. Right, so that was that little mission that we got on the route. Now complete! Scanning signal traced. I've got myself in trouble now. Who's coming in? Only some fighters. Very easy to deal with. Oh, we go for this beam guy first. Didn't need two missiles after him though. I used up a bunch of missiles there, didn't I? But fortunately, one of the ships had dropped his beam laser. And it's a Mark II beam laser, so a fantastic weapon to have this early on in the run. So as long as I don't make any stupid mistakes here, I'm on to something quite good on this particular occasion. Right, so GMB tech containers over there. I guess I'll leave them alone because they belong to GMB and I don't really want to make GMB hostile just yet but I will go for the plasma over here so there's a whole bunch of space games out there now isn't there with Elite Dangerous and Everspace here which is an always nice for a few quick run throughs Star Citizen is still in the works that's something I'm going to be coming back to over the coming weeks and coming months hopefully there's going to be some new updates to that game very soon now. In particular, I'm very looking forward to seeing what update 3 looks like. And of course, we've got the recently uh, gone into early access game called Helion. 
did a video on that last week. And yeah, just looking around here for anything, get myself a little bit distracted there. So yeah, Helion is one to look out for, I do feel. Some people pointed out that the game seems a little bit shallow at the moment, but we've got to remember it is the very first early release of it. But I do understand where people are coming from when they say they're getting a little bit fed up with the constant uh, release of early access games. I don't want to just brush it off and say, well, that's just the way modern gaming is, although it does certainly seem to be the way modern gaming is. But at the very least, it gets us access to games that we perhaps wouldn't have otherwise. But then again, it also gets us access to games that sometimes never pan out. Hopefully that's not going to be the case with Helion. That's because that does look extremely promising. Now just look how quick these beam lasers take out the enemies. Very nice, powerful weapons. With PAX Prime, or PAX East, sorry, coming up this Friday, I'm also pretty interested in seeing uh, what games are going to be released there or announced. It usually could be often quite a good uh, event for seeing new indie releases. They can often release around that sort of time frame, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. So processors, scrap, and compound. Plenty of items to pick up as well, though, which is real pleasure seems to be an abundance of uh, materials around here considering I'm only in zone 1 or zone 2 now but this does happen from time to time you do occasionally get these massive great big uh, amounts of materials dropped often with weapons and sometimes you can go through the entirety of sector 1 and find more or less nothing I guess that's just the nature of RNG isn't it Sometimes a boon for gamers, more often than not, though, a complete bane for the gamers. But it's getting to the point nowadays where almost every game has RNG in it, that's random number generation, basically random jobs in it in one way or another, isn't it? Oh, whoa, whoa, didn't see them. Too busy yakking. That's just too much. Yeah, it wasn't any little bit too much. I really don't want to make any mistakes. Because I've got this rather nice weapon and I do want to keep it as long as I possibly can. What else have we got over here? Some more tech containers. We will have them, but I'm going to do a quick repair right probably getting on for the time when the uh, interceptors are going to start arriving but we're going to try and get as much as we can before that actually happens a little bit of fuel there and then we're going to fly inside this asteroid here and see what's about Go. There's a tech container. Anti-missile drone. I guess I collected that. And what have we got here? Another tech container. This time with a improved shield by the looks of it. Let's see what that's like. Oh, a scanning probe. I'm going to salvage that because we've already got... There's a shield I'm after. That's fine. That looks perfect. We'll swap that and salvage the original one. So now we've got, well, we've got an improved shield, but I've just totally trashed it. Hopefully that will regenerate. Yep, quite quick. And what else have we got here? GMB tech container, and we have got some nanobots. I'm going to take them because obviously I've used up a bunch through repairing already. And that will probably do it. It'll be time to head on out to the uh, next zone. 
one final look before we depart and head to zone three. Oh, away do we go. Let's go with the low risk route for now. Just because it's selected already. There's not a lot of difference at this stage of the game between medium risk and low risk, at least as far as I've been able to tell. You never know, I could be wrong on that count, but right now we've got damage boost. Oh, we've got a jumping suppressor. Jump suppression. Where is it? This way, somewhere. It would seem. Oh no, we're going past it. There it is. I'd be laugh if it's part of uh, a GMP. GMB. Uh, forget here. I know they're further back. So there's a jump suppressor inside the shipwreck here. Easily alleviated there. And we're back with the ability to jump. Thank goodness for that. But I do I want to make... Can we make some scanning probes? Let's salvage the anti-missile drone. We don't want that. I do want some scanning probes. Let's have one of them for now. What the heck? Seeing one jump out, that's something I tend not to actually see very often. All dealt with. Oh no, one more. Go, you nearly got away, didn't you? Just look how fast that beam laser burns through the hull. A nice stack of credits there. Okay. Anything else nearby? They jumped right in on top of me there, didn't they? Very, very close. And some power cells. Okay, uh, we might actually have enough materials here to do to do some types of upgrades in a minute. Let's have a look here at what we've got first, and then we'll have a think about uh, performing an upgrade or two. Any more, more in there? There is some more crystal in there. Ah, some fighters en route. Just as I'm about to look at doing an upgrade. Those beam lasers do half do some damage to me as well as uh, my beam lasers doing damage to the enemy ships. Right, let's see what we can upgrade here. So we've already got quite a significantly improved shield. I don't think we need to improve the um, beam laser, really, do we? So I guess no is the answer to that. We don't actually need to upgrade or build anything up. We simply go with what we've got. So GMB containers over there and a tech container there. We will go and have a look at that tech container. Must have been right next door to me early on. I was, think I was here for the jump suppressor, wasn't I? Unless that was another similar looking wreck. Scatter gun. Scatter gun is actually quite a nice weapon, but I'm not going to change it for any of the others I've actually got because 
I like the weapons I've got at the moment. So that's it for Zone 3. On to Zone 4 and the Jump Gate, which will take me through to Sector 2. Lovely big asteroid right in the middle of the zone here. And a comms hub over there. Handy, because it means I don't need to use a, a scanning probe. Is that a turret down there? It is a turret down there. So we're going to have to sneak up a little bit carefully here. But should be able to deal with it relatively quickly. I was coming over here for? It was the comms beacon, wasn't it? Another flight cannon. Oh no, it was a scatter gun before, wasn't it? But we're going to salvage that as well. And hopefully there's a few other nice little surprises around here. Look at the planet down there in the background. I wish we could get down to them. A little bit of atmospheric combat would break things out quite significantly, wouldn't it? Although it would make it a very different feeling game. Let's give this a shot. And let's not. Lots of stuff I'm salvaging here. Lots of materials that means, so sooner or later hopefully they'll come in at handy. We got another tech container over there, quite nearby. Adaptive armor. Now this is probably worth actually having. What do I get rid of? I'm gonna get rid of the weapon overdrive. And just maybe, just maybe, I'll sell some of these materials at the trader here, depending on how many I've got, because I think I've got a rather nice stack at the moment. Shield breaker missiles, I don't want to buy them, I'm actually want to, after selling uh, some of my items. Well, unfortunately, yeah, there's nothing there that I actually want. Oh well, worth a look. So then, this is going to get... Oh no, one more tech container over there. I was just about to say this is going to get me into uh, Sector 2, but we'll get the tech container before I do that. Come on, let it be something nice this time. What do we got? Oh, we've got a beam laser. Well, we've already got a beam laser, and we've got a significantly better beam laser than that one, I do believe. So we will salvage that. And now we're going to go through the uh, jump gate and get ourselves into Sector 2. Oh, what have we got coming in? I'm not hanging around to find out because it's time to leave anyway, so... No problems there. A very nice, dark region of space this entire sector has been. Pleasant to fly around. And we'll see just how vividly coloured... Sector 2 is going to be in any moment now. And it's vivid red. We've got company. Right, on that note, I think we'll leave it here. And we'll pick up from here in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.